Welcome back to the Huddle on 840 Fox Sports Radio. Those, ladies and gentlemen, the dulcet tones of our very own Jake Berry. <laughs> I can see a little karaoke with a little Barry Coldplay going on there. <laughs> Barry Coldplay. <laughs> Barry, hit that, hit that falsetto again. Yeah, my throat was dying there. I was, it was hurting. <laughs> It's too we'll early. Just, we'll have a little bit of what Rick had last night. That'll hey, be yeah. <laughs> we want a lot about what I had last night. <laughs> Snoop wants a lot of what you had last night. You're talking about last night? I'm talking about three hours ago, bro. <laughs> Mere <laughs> moments ago. <laughs> Welcome back to the Huddle on 840 Fox Sports Radio. Let's get back to it. Spencer Gant, he is the coach of the East All-Stars. Going on tonight at Bobby Lackey Stadium in Westco. Joining us here in the Huddle. Coach, good morning, sir. How are you? Hey, good morning, Tony. Morning, Jake. Good morning. <laughs> Jake's very excited. He's he can barely contain it. Spencer Gant. He always locks up, boy, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. I don't. Under, you know, we we got him cool as a cat around any other coach. We bring on Spencer Gant. And he's. <sighs> <sighs> I'd watch that window that you were talking about last time. <laughs> I'm telling you, this 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 is kind of scary for me. He gets on there and he. he Chats me up and and text message me and 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 then he gets on the phone and he just locks up. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I'm a lot like Brett Favre that way. I'm good with the text too. But, uh... <laughs> I'd I'd hate to see the text that he sends. I was sends about to say that reminds me. Quit sending me pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Spencer Gann is the coach for the East All-Stars today at the uh, All-Star Showcase going on at Bobby Lackey Stadium. Coach, a lot of people have been bringing up the uh, Kevin Ledesma-Matthew Kaufman battle. How do you see this breaking down? Well, guys, I mean, it's it's an All-Star game. I mean, those, those are obviously two of the All-Stars in the Rio Grande Valley, but there's a, there's a whole bunch more of them on either roster, so... Uh, you know, I don't think it's going to boil down to those two guys. Uh, uh, and again, we, we're going to try to make sure that everybody gets to play. And, and uh, you're going to get to see a, a steady dose of both of them. But at the same time, uh, we've got two other quarterbacks on the east side, and, and Jacob Puente and, and uh, Jacob Larima from Lyford. So uh, they're going to get their play in time. And I don't think you can take an all-star game and, and uh, you know boil it down to two guys. So if you had to do an over/under uh, point spread. What would your uh, starting number be? Mm. Are, you think we're going to see arena numbers, arena type numbers, or <laughs> will we have some defense show up? You know what? I, I think uh, I think you're going to see a lot more defense. Uh, I think it's a lot tougher for an offense to gel in two weeks than it is for a defense. You know, and and uh, you know, defense is you know go out there and get the football and and uh, you know tackle the guy with the football and take the football away. And, and offense, you you know they. These guys are uh, having to adjust to our offensive style and, and what we do and, and learn our plays, and, and so it's a little bit tougher for the for the offense to gel sometimes. So, you know, as far as a over under number, <laughs> I'd say it's probably gonna be about twenty eight. Wow, wow, that that that's impressive considering that you know uh, most times for the All Star games it, it's a chance for the uh, the offensive guys to display their abilities and. You know, you've got the, uh, the the long passes and, you know, the, the, the long runs in, in compared to the defense that's just there at, hey, you know, we're here to have a good time. We want to make sure that nobody gets hurt, so we're not going to hit at 100%. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the toughest thing I had the past two weeks is slowing our defense down. They They thought everything was full contact even when we were in half shell. Now, were all the guys going to San Benito and practicing with you over there, or how was this working out? Yes, yes. We, when they all came to San Benito, and we actually, as, as a coaching staff, we were pulling two a day because we had our spring football, and uh, as soon as our spring football was over with and our kids left the field, the All-Stars walked on the field, and, and uh, we had another hour and a half practice with them. So, How did, how did your staff handle that, and how did your, your guys handle that? <laughs> well, you know, when, when we first – got asked to, to do the all-star game uh, I've, i had my staff vote on it and of course all the young bucks were yeah yeah we want to do it we want to do it <laughs> all, all the old guys were like hold up <laughs> <laughs> boys let's reconsider this here <laughs> there's a reason why you guys got two years as coaches and we got 14 <laughs> relax boys that's right but no we've, we've actually held up well and and uh, dave evans and i were talking about it yesterday and and uh, obviously we're exhausted and we're tired, but uh, our bodies have held up and we're still alive. So uh, we're excited about it. Is Coach Evans your 
DC or your OC? He's my defensive coordinator, and his uh, oldest son, Mark Evans, is my offensive coordinator. See, now I can understand why you had to, you know, tell your defense, hey, we got to pull back a little bit, boys, because uh, Coach <laughs> Evans, is he seems like that guy that's always on full throttle no matter what he's doing. Absolutely, absolutely, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, he's, a, he's a great coach, and uh, but when he when he walks out on the field, it is uh, it's one of those deals where uh, you put your foot on the gas and let's go to work. And the guys have responded well to him. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Does an outstanding job with with uh, with our kids there at San Benito and has for the past three and a half years. And and uh, and then the, the all stars just came in and they just ate him up. They they loved him to death. So so of of all the all stars, which is the one that you said, man, this kid would have looked good in the purple. <laughs> Well, there's about 53 of them that I said that about. <laughs> <laughs> there's uh, there's not too many times when I haven't looked out there and said, "Man, I wish I had him." <laughs> <laughs> or or a roster full of him. Exactly. All right, coach. Well, we look forward to seeing you guys tonight. Take the field. Uh, Seven o'clock kickoff, right? Yes, sir. There at Bobby Lackey Stadium. Yes, sir. Well, you'll have to come back and join us and, and talk to us about spring football and, and how, how your Greyhounds are getting ready. Absolutely. We'll definitely do that. I appreciate you guys for having me on. Thanks so much, Coach. We appreciate you joining us. Is, maybe tomorrow will there be some fishing in your future? <laughs> I, don't, I don't see any fishing until uh, probably this time next week, but uh, hopefully it's going to come real soon. Jake said he'll have the boat ready. <laughs> Well, if if Jake's going to get the boat ready in that play, in that case, I'm going to go play golf. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Coach. Good luck tonight. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> bye bye. Head bye. Coach Spencer Gant, he is the head coach of the East All Stars, joining us here in the huddle on 8:40 Fox Sports Radio. I'm not going to spend time with him at the zoo anymore. You're you're yeah. done. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we went to the zoo a couple um, couple months ago. <laughs> he was there with his family. I was there with my family. Oh, hey, you Stalker. come here too? Yeah. I brought. I, hey, I made the family come with me. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be stalker we, if your kids are there. How can all of a sudden you and, and Coach and we, be at the well, zoo we followed, at the same time? Well, we followed him around for about a good hour before I came in there and said, oh, How's that new hey. property down in San Benito coming? Are you yeah. building on it still? Yep. Yeah. Real nice. <laughs> no, I'm in Laguna Vista. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. Yeah. Oh, he's, you actually, be, he's building two in Laguna yeah. Vista and in San yeah. Benito. You want to be right on the same street as him. Yeah. I, I got one of those party boats. I just put it on the in the lagoon. Just, just there. <laughs> They call it lurking, you know. I'm on a recon mission. Yeah. <laughs> Weirdo. Slightly odd. It's amazing what you can get on eBay. I got this little drone. Goes right over the house. <laughs> Circles. <Yeah. laughs> that is so wrong. It's the Huddle on 840 Fox Sports Radio brought to you by 956 Sports. Powered by our friends at Mickey D's. Wow, we could use some Mickey D's this morning, I think. I told Leslie that when I got here. She's like, oh, you didn't get McDonald's this morning. I don't know. I'm tired. Yeah, thanks. I needed it. <laughs> thanks so far to Coach Dave Gilpin, <laughs> Coach Spencer Gant joining us. Manny Moreno, he's coming up next. We're going to take a timeout, come back with more of the huddle right here on 840 Fox Sports Radio. Breaking news. Local McDonald's.